What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FN22 series where we look at Youngstown on Portal Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers. Uh, today's play has been suggested by me in the comment section, you feel free to do that, I'm not going to say I'm going to, I'm not going to, say I'm going to do it every time going forward now, but I will obviously look at your suggestions and maybe somewhere I've not thought of to do a video on. Down below guys, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel as well for daily FM content. Down below is my Let's Play channel and my FIFA channel as well. FIFA 23 is basically going to start to, uh, tomorrow. Um, if we, when you see this video, it'll be tomorrow when I start recording. I've got the off as well, which is kind of handy. So I can call a couple of episodes and play some FIFA off camera. So, today's player is Mohamed Diomande, a central attacking midfielder slash centre mid can even play left winger left winger according to um the uh, position chart here straight away as you can see he's got great dribbling first touch passing and technique and flair as, as good as good as well uh generally well balanced out physicals as well he's got two tra two player traits he's got tri clear balls often and plays one two so they're more of a creative player and he's left footed left footed only and he's weak on his right foot so bear that in mind i don't think i don't think wingers going to be the right option for him in my opinion i think definitely playing more central area in for me now as novice causes contract uh, from day one which is brilliant um it says in terms of like there's no high lease clause but it may still be a high fee i've done a scout report for you and the evaluation of him is a three point Sorry, 325k to 2.7 million. Experiences in joining Manchester United also on loan as well. Um, now he would fail to get a work permit. He's very one-footed and can has improved to doing physical strength. Not an issue for me personally because that will get better as you get as he gets older. Fair amount of pace, very adaptable. Um, he's got a really good dribbling stat which you've already seen, and has full understanding of the language. Now let's try and agree a fee with him and see how. Obviously, we know they will. Let's just see what they say straight away. Right, so straight away, we've got four, five million pound. So the report they had for the transfer fee is sort of wrong, uh, but this is a really thing how they changed this year. It's really, really awkward. It's a very rare I see a transfer fee actually in that range. Just see that it's, see that it's very pointless. Um, so, yeah, interesting player. I think physically he's going to be absolutely fantastic. I just want to see how his technicals match up. So um, his max potential rating, I do, I do apologize. He's got 160. I think that's locked in if I remember correctly as well. So it's not like a varied one. It's locked into 160. Right then, the first jump. Let's see how he gets on the next, the first few years. All right, folks. We're still at FC Norgeland. Um, straight away, you can see the main increases are the agility and pace, uh, technique and dribbling as well, off the ball and vision good as well. We've got some new player traits on him. Um, we've got get forward if we can and not pop past opponent. So definitely more quick play in the central area. Um, now let's look at the release clauses contract. Nope, no release clause from not on, he's on this scenario. Straight away, looks like a player needs a move. Um, now it. it and a lot of players teams are eyeing him up. Um, Premier League mainly. Is that the Saudi League? Yeah, Saudi, Saudi League, I thought it was. Um, Everton, Southampton, West Ham, looking at him with major interest. It might interest from Aston Villa and Brighton. So I think he's gonna get I think he's, I think he's, he's gonna get a move. Injury record, how is he looking? One big in, okay, we had one injury there in 2023 for a torn thigh muscle out for two months. And then after that it's pretty much okay. So how is he doing in the, the Danish league uh, since we started? So three goals, four assists, three goals, five assists, one goal, one assist that year. That probably be his injury, and then seven goals, seven assists. So I think it's time we've right for a move. Um Anything here on the stats that worries me? Not really. I mean, the long shots could be a bit better, but he likes to try curl balls more often anyway. So, but he's got the dribbling for the um, not past, not past opponent. He's got the dribbling. He's got the pace as well, um, and acceleration not bad either. So he can get past people very well. And I think he's, I think he's, I think it'd be, I think we want to see where he goes because I think in the top league with maybe better facilities like a. Man City or Real Madrid, something like that, or anyone outside Danish League, really. I think you can get, you can, you can look more out of him. Let's find out where he goes, if anywhere. Well, he's gone to Wolves in the Premier League, but he's not. That wasn't his first club in the Premier League. As you can see, his mentals have gone up 
anticipation, composure, flair, off the ball and vision high. Then look at the dribbling, the first touch, the passing and the technique. The physical state basically the same. There's been a big boost in him. A big boost in him. Um, now injury records, I'll look at it again and see how we're doing. Apart from that one major injury in 2023, we've been okay with that. So that's not a big concern for me uh, going forward. Yeah. Like him as a player. The tr player traits are well, still the same. Definitely more a central player. Maybe even a deep line playmaker because he's got the passing, he's got the vision, he's got the technique, um, and he likes to play curl balls often. So maybe more a deeper player. But you could definitely play him in a more attacking role because you look at uh, the dribbling and acceleration and pace, add that to the fact he's got the uh, not well bust opponent. Definitely can play that role, and that's where Wolves are playing him right now. So how so how much did they get him for? Newcastle United going for Newcastle United going for 9.5, and they got eight goals and four assists in his first season. But they got one and five, and they got three and five, and then he got four and three at Wolves for 33.5 million pound. I think based on his goal that goal output there, I'd definitely see him more as a creative player and deeper um, playmaker but I think if you get him earlier um, and then, again we don't know how many chances he's, he's, he's missed do we really so definitely can be multi that's what that's which is what I like in a player I like players to be multi-functional so yeah right can you get like double figures if a goals or assist in one season in the Premier League or any of the league he goes to let's find out so he stayed at Wolves, and the stats of the stay the same. Freaky taking up to 16. I think the dribbling down to 15 now, and it was a bit higher than that before. Um, so if I look at injury record again, nothing concerning me at all there. Pretty much okay with that myself. So Wolves, first season we saw 4-3. and three. Then 7-2, seven and 7-5, and five, then 4-9. and nine. So he gets around 15 goal contributions a season-ish. Um... Total, um, yeah, it's around that, isn't it? Um, uh, maybe I know it's not more like ten in it, really. Actually, so yeah, I, is it, for the fee you're paying for for Newcastle, even for Wolves, not terrible. It depends if you want to work on his on his finishing, because I think he could definitely score more. But then again, he's not been in a really top side. No offense to Newcastle and Wolves, but you put him in like a Man City team or a team that's. Again, maybe he's been lucky. He might be just creating chance for people and they're not scoring them. It might not be down to him at all. Um, but I definitely think you could play him in an attacking sense because of dribbling and the dribbling and the strength. So not strength, the pace he has and acceleration and agility and the traits kind of lean towards that. But also a, deep, a, deep, a deeper role because of the passing technique and vision and the club often trait. So very fun multifunctional. He's locked to 160 as well, like I said. So you don't have to worry about him not having that potential rating. Uh, it's all about you get signing him earlier, maybe. Because he, he was in the um, Danish league and a bit longer than I would have liked him to be. And I think after one or two seasons, you get him out of there, then you develop him. I think if he'd been at Wolves and Newcastle a bit earlier, I think he would have felt even better. You saw the jump when he went to the Premier League with the better facilities and coaching, you'd assume, at, at, at those clubs. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you have, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. I've got a player in mind for next episode, and hopefully he, he will be turning out very well. Um, don't forget to check out the FIFA channel down below, which is going to be starting tomorrow with the new career mode. Uh, we'll say it's that tomorrow. It'll start Wednesday, probably. I'll try and get it live in the evening. Uh, for the first episode but it's really tricky with the fact that I'm, I'm it's the same day episode it's very difficult to do but that's why I'm recording FM in batches quickly here now to get it done so I've got that schedule done so I can focus on getting the FIFA content out and there's my channel down below as well which is not my highest priority but I will be recording that when I get a chance to do so so thanks for watching folks see you next time bye bye